Hey what's up guys, Scamfeef here and welcome to this record breaker Wayne Rooney review. Now if you're wondering why he got this card is because he broke the England national team's goal scoring record so congratulations Wayne Rooney on doing that. Anywho back to his FIFA card, look at it, 81 pace, 92 dribbling, 98 shooting, 96 physical and 91 passing, it is an awesome looking card. Originally he comes out of packs as a striker but as you can see I have converted him to a centre forward because to me he looks like he'd play a lot better there. He's come out with a decent record too of 6 games, 12 goals and 2 assists and we did have 2 rage quits too so he could have had some more goals if given the time. Into the in-game attributes then and it's one of them where I just do not know where to start because nearly everything is green. 93 strength, 85 balance, 85 agility, then you go into the skill attributes, 94 ball control, 96 finishing, 95 long shots and 99 shot power. He is ridiculous. I loved using this guy as sent forward, especially abusing his long shots because they are so freaking powerful and very, very accurate. 94 long passing and 93 short passing too. Brilliant stats and he can pass very well on both feet as well. Four star weak foot, he passes very well off both feet and got a few assists. Probably could have had more but to be honest when I was using him, I wanted to shoot with him instead of setting up goals because his shooting was very very clinical. Into the in-game quips then and what you're going to see is a player who can pretty much just charge through defences. He is so strong and he actually feels pretty quick. Like One of the issues I had with the pink Rooney card was that his acceleration didn't feel that good but with this record breaker card he actually feels pretty damn quick and does have a decent 10 of pace. You can probably tell already that I really like this card and he was great at centre forward so I will get the negative out of the way early. It is the wear crates, high high wear crates. They for me do affect him quite a bit and do hold him back occasionally but when you get the guy on the ball he makes up for it because he is so freaking good on the ball and another thing I need to bring up before these clips start coming through is the headers. From corners this guy is deadly, I think he's like 5'9 in FIFA, 5'9 that is, but he wins so many headers, he's jumped so high and his heading is just so accurate, so powerful, the goalkeepers have absolutely no chance. So despite him being not the tallest of players, because his jumping and heading are so good, he is a very big aerial threat. His dribbling is fantastic as well, I think that's one of the things that I haven't touched on too much, but his ball control is awesome and it's definitely helped out by the fact that he's so strong, has such good balance that he can just stay on the ball and keep control of it. One of the main things I really liked about the card was that it just seemed like he wanted the ball all the time. He was so aggressive when going for the ball. He'd win it, he'd use his strength and push players off the ball, win the ball, and then he'd go through and score. So let's sum this card up then. I loved him. He was awesome. Brilliant centre forward in my opinion. I like the fact that he definitely feels a lot quicker than his previous card. Has a great 10 of pace and um, just off that he was much more enjoyable than the pink card in my opinion. When it comes to dribbling, no issues whatsoever. He's great on the ball. Shooting, whether it's long shots, free kicks, finishing just inside the box, outside the box. He can do it outside the foot, inside the foot. As I say, he can do it all on both feet as well, which was uh, pretty good to see. Passing, no problems whatsoever. Long passing, short passing, crossing. Brilliant at it and heading. He was a brilliant brilliant aerial threat so if you want someone to whip a ball into despite his height Rooney could be that guy. So overall for me a pretty much perfect centre forward. His work rates at times held him back at times but still he was incredible and when he was on the ball definitely made up for that in my opinion and his positioning and run making were pretty good so his work rates didn't affect him too much. Is he worth the coins? Now this might sound a little bit daft but if you like using a player in the force nine role then I think you will definitely get your money's worth if you picked him up and that is pretty much what I'm going to say. It's the end of FIFA now, spend your coins how you want and I think Rooney would be a good addition to any ultimate team. Anyway guys that is my review of record breaker Wayne Rooney. If you have enjoyed remember to leave a like and comment below who you'd like to review next. Have a good day guys. Adios.